let's also bring on board our technical guest for today. We've got with us uh, <clears throat> Manav Chopra who uh, joins in. He's technical research analyst at Nirbal Bang Securities. Manav, to start off with, what's your call on the index? Do you believe that we're going to grind at these levels and consolidation is likely to kick in? And what are your top trading ideas? Nifty has an immediate support at 59.20.30 on the dawn side, which coincides with the rising trend line drawn from its recent lows. In case if the uh, Nifty manages to sustain these levels for a couple of trading sessions, we can expect a short term bounce to 6020 to 6050 levels. Uh, 5985 is an immediate resistance to watch out in the near term. You now we need to close above that. So, in short, you know, 5920 to 5930 will act as a make or break levels for the markets. Uh, out of um, now, my uh, topics uh, would be my first is uh, call on HDFC Limited. Uh, this stock has taken support at its long term averages and has managed to exceed its recent falling uh, trend line, which confirms a short term trend reversal and resumption of the original trend. Uh, the breakout in this stock has accompanied by good volumes and bullish candles, which is a bullish signal. Uh, it has a very strong support at 810 on the downside. One can maintain a stop loss of 805 for an upside target of 850. Uh, my next pick is Maruti. Uh, the stock has been a complete outperformer in the markets recently and has been forming a series of higher highs and lows. The stock has managed to exceed its recent swing high, which confirms a bullish uptrend and which is a positive signal. There is a very strong support at 1600 on the downside. One can maintain a bound with a stop loss of 1590 for an upside target of 1700. My next call is an IBR. The stock has formed several bearish candles near the resistance of 80 and has uh, reached the support of 76 with a big bearish candle accompanied by sharp volumes which suggest a very negative bias in the stock. With the presence of negative divergence in the oscillators, uh, it indicates that there is limited upside from the current levels. The stock is also currently trading below its important short term averages. Uh, I recommend a sell in this stock with a stock loss of 77 for a downside target of 71. Very quickly, a word on Ambuja Cements and what do you do here? For somebody who is short, would you recommend staying short or taking money off the table? See, uh, we've already seen the stock declining and uh, the momentum indicators suggest that you know the stock still has a potential to decline f further down for a 4 to 5 percent. So I, I would definitely remain short at the current levels. Uh, what we've also seen, you know, we've not seen any sort of uh, divergence or, 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 or any momentum in this stock uh, and, and, and the support for this stock is uh, down, down for probably another 5 6 percent. So I would remain short in this stock. Manav, I wanted to come to you with respect to your reading of Sun Pharma on the charts. See, Sun Pharma is a, uh, has been in a very good uptrend and it faces immediate resistance around 760, 762. Uh, if it manages to sustain and close above this, we expect a rise of at least or the stock would test levels of 790 to 810. And from the oscillator front, there is, uh, there is an absence of any sort of a negative divergence, which suggests that the advance is not yet done and one can expect further rallies into the stock. Uh, this stock has been a very good uh, in uptrend since 2009. and. Uh, and what what we've seen is that in case that there is any correction of 4 to 5 percent, it is the time that one should get into the stock. So at the current levels, I would maintain a buy. Okay, a buy recommendation on Sun Pharma, 748 on last count. What's high by three tenths of a percent is Mahindra and Mahindra ahead of its numbers. Quite a few things that we need to watch out for in terms of their commentary on the expansion for Sanyong as well as Navista. And we are expecting a strong set of numbers from this one. But on the charts, how are you reading into this one, Manav? It's at 900 presently. See, uh, this stock faces uh, crucial resistance around the level of 918 to 920. Uh, I don't see the stock uh, immediately crossing that because uh, we've, we've seen a very sharp decline and the previous support will act as a resistance uh, in case of any advance. And, and uh, there are a number of uh, uh, important, uh, so 91520 is where I would probably would look for a shorting opportunity and uh, which would provide a very high risk reward ratio. I, I, I expect that you know there is one still a decline left into the stock and we can see the levels of around 865 to 815 in the near term. To Manav and ask him his assessment on the charts. 454, there is a mild uptick coming in. How would you read into this? The Kanban has taken support at its long term 100 day moving average which is around 440 levels which is also today's intraday low. In case if this stock manages to sustain these levels and uh, manages to exceed the crucial resistance of 460, we may see a short term rise in the stock uh, towards the levels of 475. Uh, what we've also seen is that the oscillators on the daily charts 
are in the oversold territory so a short term bounce is due on the stock but uh, let me tell you the stock is in a short term downtrend so in case if you try to play a long position it would only it is only a contra trend in nature uh, we expect that the stock would probably hold this level and then it may rise but it's possible that you know around 440 443 in case if it is breached you may see further downside couple of these companies uh, manav if you can give me a chart check one on an mnm and two on an xi that is up close to 4% in trade post the news see uh, xi has given a breakout after its short term consolidation uh, it, it had an immediate resistance of around 125 and it is currently trading above it uh, in the short term we can expect the stock to test the level of 120 132 and 136 on the higher side uh, uh, and uh, the the stock is currently trading below its long term averages so one can only play it for the short term momentum basis if you look at this stock on a higher time frame charts the stock has been in a broader uh, correct, corrective mode and you know we are at the lower support level so i would probably like to go long at the current levels we can maintain a stop of around below 125 which is the immediate support and we can expect the targets of 136 what about mnm manav as as i spoke to you earlier you know mnm uh, faces crucial hurdles around 900 to 915 and i don't see the stock actually ex- exceeding it on the high level so i would maintain a sell on rise approach as 915 is a crucial hurdle to be crossed and it it, it has a very strong uh, and I, i would sell at the current levels i expect at least one leg down in, in mnm and expected to test the levels of 850 there's also a possibility the stock would uh, make a new low and would also go go and test the levels of 830 uh, what we've seen in the stock on a high time frame chart is it has been in a rising channel pattern and at and at around 900 and 920 it has formed a very good high which which can be sustained for a probably couple of months so sell on rise for a near term is advisable in mnm